I'm Kat and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been subscribed for a while. Um, it's been a minute since I've uploaded so I'm just doing like a chatty get ready with me video because I, <laughs> oh lord, so much has happened. There was a pandemic, uh, or, you know, democracy is crumbling, um, we're trying to have a civil rights movement but like half the country is like... <laughs> That's not important. Um, and then my computer, I mean, it seems like such a trivial thing, but I guess in the grand scheme of me uploading, it is paramount. Um, my computer broke. I sent it out via Best Buy to be repaired. They sent it to Kentucky. I don't really know what, what happened with it in Kentucky. They don't really know what happened to it in Kentucky. It just kind of went to Kentucky and then didn't come back. So they gave me a new computer but I have to reinstall my Adobe software on it and that's gonna take a really long time. So you get this video instead because it requires minimal editing, if any. So the first thing I'm gonna use is from Yonkop Paris. It is their Age Defense Hydra N1 Serum. And by the way, some but not all of the products in this video were given to me by various brands. Uh, I'm not being paid, so all opinions are 100% my own. I always use serum because it gets a little bit more hydration into my skin. This one, um, it kind of smells like jasmine and rose petals and green tea, but it's really light and super hydrating, so that's why I put that on first. Now, you may have noticed I'm very pale. There's nothing wrong with being very pale. It just happens to make me look like I'm dying. And I haven't been outside much because um, some people forgot we're in the middle of a pandemic and I'm immunocompromised and I just started immunotherapy last week. So I can't get sick because I'll probably die if I get this thing. Um, so I'm pale, yes. So I'm using this Clarins Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster and I'm combining it with my Estee Lauder Daywear Moisturizer. And this, I've already gotten the moisturizer everywhere. Good job, cat. The bottle has kind of like a, a thing on the bottom that you can depress and it will dispense a couple of drops. I am all for fake tanning. If it makes you feel better about yourself, if it makes you look healthier like it does with most people. And I personally just like always want to give myself the best skincare possible and that involves a lot of SPF. And when I don't tan, I'm very pale. So I put that on, it gives me a little bit more of a healthy glow if I just do a couple of drops every day. This is their Youthful Lift and this is for your chest. So I like to use this on my neck and upper chest. Next, I have a couple of products from Clarins. This is from their Feed 10 bag and this is adorable. It comes with a bunch of little products. The tag on it says 10 school meals provided with this gift. So it's one of their charity pouches. I will put the link in the description below for how you can get one of these, but it's a really great program and it comes with some good samples. So in this was included um, a little Clarins Natural Lip Perfector. I have another one of these in a different color. I absolutely love this product. So I'm gonna put this on first and give it a little bit of time to work. So I'm just gonna do some really minimalist makeup as I talk to you about what's going on and what I'm thinking and what I'm doing and uh, all that fun life stuff. So I'm using Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just gonna start covering up my blemishes and telling you about what is happening. So I didn't upload for a while because it just doesn't feel right for me to be taking up any more space than I need to be. But of course, my experience is gonna be very different from darker skinned Latinos. And I mean, even just the rest of my family, people I'm very closely related to look very different from me in some cases. And I benefit from white privilege. And like, don't get me wrong, of course, we are all going to be 
victimized in some capacity at some point, but those outliers are not the big issue. The big issue is that we have done nothing to make up for hundreds of years of genocide because kidnapping people from their countries is a form of genocide. By the way, I'm using original mineral veil from Bare Minerals and I'm just pretty much like setting my concealer with this. Where was I? Oh right, so like I get that a lot of people are trying their best to be advocates and I get that a lot of people are being burnt out but at the same time it's kind of like don't you think black people are a little burnt out on this country's racism? Probably. I think a lot of people really want to go back to normal, whatever normal is, but like, babe, you gotta like go of it. We don't have normal anymore. And we might as well just keep making massive sweeping social changes. I've been listening to a lot of Sean King, and I purposefully have been listening to Sean King's stuff because he was one of the more progressive, bold voices there. And. I don't expect everyone to get this, like I personally have several actual ancestors whose statues are getting taken down and you know what, I don't give a shit because we know better now. It's been hard to be patient with people who are unwilling to inconvenience themselves and unwilling to do any kind of work and unwilling to be educated in any capacity and instead want to pretend like they need to have allegiance to some flag that was barely even used for a confederacy that lasted, what, five years? Losers. I'm using Fenty Beauty uh, Girl Next Door on the high points of my cheeks. A little bit of a highlight and then I'm gonna use the dark color, Chic Freak. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sorry if my thoughts aren't like super eloquent or coherent at the moment. I'm using Cocoa Beach. It's like a light shimmery brown. And I get that it's hard. I've lost so many family members over progressivism and doing the right thing when it boils down to it. Um, yeah. I'm gonna use Chocolate Sun also in that palette. And we are living in this unfortunate time where a lot of older people don't get it because they've never known any different and they're having a very hard time um, acknowledging that even if they have not felt like they have actively done anything malicious to contribute to the disenfranchisement of people of color in this country, they have benefited from white privilege. I'm not quite done with my eyebrows yet. I've done them a little bit lighter than I wanted to. So next I'm gonna use my Billion Dollar Brows, the Microblade Effect Brow Pen. And it is a felt tip with three little points. So that's where I'm coming from. And I do, um, you know, I realize the risk I assume by stating my stance on the internet on this, and I really don't care. So this is pretty dang cool. This is drawing all these individual little lines, and you can see they look like little hairs. So that's kind of like filling out, adding a little bit more dimension. All right, so that's what my brows look like with that. Next, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. This sample size mascara also came in the Feed 10 bag. This is the Clarins Mascara Supra Volume. And I don't usually use black, but I wanted to kind of pump up my old daily look a little bit. There have been very few days throughout this entire shelter in place that I haven't done anything to put myself together. Um, and part of that is because I have been so busy I have had a lot of Zoom calls, I've had a lot of self-tape auditions, I've had Zoom table reads, which are weird, super weird. So that's what that looks like so far. I'm going to use my Arbonne um, bronzer, which is dirty and falling apart, and I really don't care because um, 
why get a new bronzer if I already have this one? So what I've been doing, because I've gotten so damn pale, is I put on too much of this. I basically frame my face in it, go in under my cheekbones a little, and go around everything. Then I take my regular powder brush and I blend it. All right, I took a minute to kind of fluff my curls, scrunch them the way I normally would if I were getting ready. Um, the last thing I'm gonna use, I think this is the last thing, is my Avon and the Face Shop collaboration, Ink and Tattoo Lip Tint. Um, what can I say? I love this product. It's, it's really cool. I love lip tint. I love lip stain. I really don't like the way that lipstick feels on my mouth, like especially not a matte lipstick, gross. So I kind of outline my upper lip and then I tap it. And that feels nice and soft on my lips. I already conditioned my lips with the previous Clarins product, so they are nice and pillowy and soft. And then I colored them with the lip tint because for some reason my actual lips are like pale, like paler than the rest of my face. It's really creepy. And I think that's everything I wanted to show you. So this is kind of like what I've been doing for my daily makeup. Again, uh, like I said, advocacy has been huge. Um, learning to be the best ally I can possibly be and the education that goes into that. and. No one's gonna get it right at first, and a lot of people, myself included, are probably gonna say the wrong thing at times. Um, but I think it's just important that we're all trying. And, you know, if there are people who uh, don't wanna be subscribed to me anymore because, like, I'm a dirty liberal, I really don't care. Um, progressivism and extremely progressive policies are the things that have lifted the working class of this country out of poverty and given them a future. This is kind of just me like doing my part, letting you know where I stand, letting you know where I've been, also showing you some great makeup products. I guess I just wanted to let you all know that I'm back, um, that I wasn't just ghosting my channel, but also that there are way more important things to be worried about right now. So I don't know what my upload schedule is gonna be like, uh, I'm really busy handling medical stuff right now still and legal stuff and preparing to move again and gearing up for a couple of different film projects if and when uh, filming can even resume which is just a whole other level of craziness but let me know if you want to see a video about how I do I don't know like my self tape audition setup because now we film all our auditions in my bedroom <sighs> it's a whole different world, guys. I'm back. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to examine what I can do to help. I want to be back on YouTube. I don't want to take up too much space. So I guess I'm just letting you know where I am and that um, I'm trying to be an ally. I guess that's it. Thanks for watching.